We were delighted that somebody thought that we were good enough to be nominated for this award. So um, we got round the table and we said, right, you know, we want to make, put on a good um, show, if you like, when the, the, the panel came. And I think what the panel saw on that day um, represented what happens in the school every day. We aren't a kind of school where you go along and it, a, a teacher isn't willing to help when it um, is for the greater good. Um, I think the process was quite a good opportunity just to show off what we're already doing in the classroom and what's already happening in the school. I think it's, it's brought an awareness of the, the wider community to what's happening here in the school. Um, to the values that, w that we have, that we hold dear to us, and the work that goes on to ensure that those values are shared across the community and everybody is a part of it. Because at the heart of what we're trying to do is um, focus on three things. Basically, values, attitudes and relationships. Those are the three things that make uh, a good school. And I think that over a number of years, we've tried to improve all of those things. And um, it was fantastic to see that that was recognised externally. I think it was very apparent after we were nominated for the award and we came together to talk to the panel of judges that everyone was on board. As we talked to our colleagues we realised that we were all working with a common goal and a common purpose and it was no longer something that some of the pupils were involved in and some of the staff we were all in it together. Sometimes as teachers we tend to like to hide our light under a bushel but I feel that this award just gave an opportunity for maybe some staff to show off what was going on and it makes you feel kind of worth within the school community that you're actually doing something which is um, good for an award like this. Receiving this award gives everybody that lift of that recognition of everything we do day in and day out and have been doing for a number of years. Um, so I think everybody gets that, that bonus of saying other people are recognising what a fantastic school that we already know that it is. St Anne's is a, it's a lovely school to work in. It's a, it's a very inclusive community, a community uh, where our, our ethos um, and our values are at the centre of all that we do. What we're trying to achieve is that we have a welcoming and supportive environment for young people to achieve their potential. I think we want our pupils always to remember that they are St Ninian's pupils and I think that's probably the values that they have not only in the world of work but in hopefully in their own lives. St Ninian's is a welcoming place and it's very like it's very much a community everyone like really gets along and they try to like help people as much as they can and support people and always. Um, I think this school is a school where you walk in through the front door and you feel that, you feel there's something quite special about it and maybe it's hard to describe and probably if they could bottle it they could put it in other schools but I think it's just that idea that the pupils are very proud to be from St Ninian's and the staff enjoy working here with good working relationships. We're constantly being given opportunities, no one's invisible in the school. Uh, there's a sense of care across the board for staff and pupils. And if you have ideas, then someone will be there to listen to them. And I've always been supported in anything that I've wanted to do or anything that my staff have wanted to take forward. There is a sense that anything is possible in St Ninian's. We um, have a, a culture of fearlessness and risk taking. And I think that's distributed through the, through the head teacher, the senior leadership team, down through the, the full school and pupils are aware of this as well. Pupils and staff regularly come forward with ideas of things that they would like to do and we're given opportunities to do that. Teachers want to do more, they want to make the school a better place and what we do, what I do is provide those opportunities and there are lots of opportunities given to teachers and teachers um, know that they can come along with an idea and that would be encouraged, supported, funded. We would find money if that was what was, what was required so that um, and then it would be evaluated, but not in a way that if it didn't work, then teachers would be um, made to feel it didn't work. There's a sense that there's no such thing as failure. If you were worried about failure, you would never do anything. If you were worried that you're going to be hauled over the coals for something, then you would never take a risk. And I think that teachers know then that they, I have the confidence in them to go away, try and make the school a better place by that um, ambition that they show and by that fearlessness that they show in terms of what they're trying to do with the young people in their care. I think for the young learners in this school, it's a wonderful place to be. It's a place where they are given the opportunity to be active uh, learners and not just sit passively listening to what teachers are saying. 
I think the days of, certainly in this school, of the teacher standing at the front of the classroom teaching the class have gone. Pupils are fully engaged in the planning of the lesson, the delivery of the lesson uh, and the evaluation of the lesson. For example, in the English department, selecting what text will be studied, selecting um, and choosing the final outcomes and how they will work towards achieving those outcomes. I would say um, to be a learner in, in St Ninian's High School is exciting. I think that's the first thing. Um, there are lots of different opportunities. You know, we, 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 base, we work on the principle that education is much more than what happens in the classroom. It's a big experience to be a learner here at St Ninian's and one thing that you get here that you don't get at other schools is that the teachers are more aware when you need help. They, they, can, they can notice it more and then pupils are, can kind of no more when a teacher is approachable and that you can go up to a teacher and just ask them for help and you might not get that at other schools the same way that you get it here. The teachers are a great help and just for how many different opportunities we get in the school it's just wonderful. It's a different experience and you wouldn't have ever guessed that being a learner at St Ninian's could be so interesting and different and you get loads of opportunities. There is like leadership programs and then there's like simpler things in class like doing presentations. Even sometimes sent, doing messages for the teachers can be counted as an opportunity because you're seen as being responsible enough to do that. We give these opportunities to pupils and pupils learn better, I would say, because they are fully involved in all aspects of learning and teaching and they're not just recipients of, of the teaching. I think the, the sense of equality and inclusion that we have in the school has a massive impact on the learners. We treat them all as individuals, we, we know the potential that they have and that gives a con them a confidence in their own learning and uh, gives them a sense of um, success and achievement. Well, equality for all and respect for each other, again, it's at, it's at the heart of what we're about. That's, that's, um, that's everything. If we don't have those things, um, then we wouldn't be the school that, that we would be. So staff spent a lot of time uh, making sure that there are opportunities there for everyone in the school. Um, so that it's not only the, those who are academically gifted that this school's about. The Columba programme is, we work with, in collaboration with the Columba 1400 organisation based up in Sky. Um, it's an organisation that it taps into the potential within young people. I've been fortunate enough to take part in um, our school's leadership academy and then the young people's leadership academy on the Isle of Skye. It's, it's a, a leadership development programme like no others, where it's simply trying to um, the, the motto is basically that everyone has a greatness inside of them and what we try and do is, is put together a set of circumstances that allow that greatness that's inside everyone to come out and basically it's based around our, the school values and we adapted our school values to align with the Columba 1400 values um, and made them, made them our own. And really, as I say, the, the basic principle is that uh, we're trying to make everyone um, achieve their potential by realising that they've got a fantastic potential within them. And we try and bring that out, and that's staff and its pupils. I went up to Columba in September and it was like a process and everyone was picked. And when we came back, there was a whole bunch of people that hadn't got the chance to go, so we like ran a day for them. So everyone still got the same experience, but you got to like lead it and show them how to do it. When I went to Columba, uh, at first I didn't think much of it. I just thought we were going to go learn a few new things, just like school, maybe a bit more fun and come back. The bond that we made with the teachers that went up and everyone else that went up, it was incredible. And um, it changed the way that I think. I try and have more of a positive mindset instead of a negative. And I try and share that with other pupils in the school. Through the skills that I learned at Columba and, and in St Ninians, I feel that I could take that away to the future, to my job or university, and I'm ready to take on the big outside world that everyone talks about. The year after I attended the Columba 1400 programme, myself and two teachers then went out and led it ourselves. So going from being a learner to be a teacher. And we just feel that the Columba programme really it's why we use the values of Columba in our own um, values of the school, that awareness, focus, creativity, integrity, perseverance and service were everything I th that Mr McLaughlin and the staff felt that a school should represent. And the feedback that we get then from learners and indeed from parents is that 
Um, pupils just love being here. It's an exciting place to be. Um, it's high achieving. Uh, we set high, high targets for, for pupils uh, and uh, by and large they achieve those.